Hello guys, here it's 97 and today I bring you guys a little tutorial on how to use this Miume Wi-Fi which I have been using for the past days for my Wi-Fi battles that I upload, I usually upload on YouTube. So this is a really easy way to do it. So let's just get started, I guess. Um, first thing I want to say is that you have to have a wired connection to do this because if you do not, do not have a wired connection, believe me, you, um, well, it's not gonna work. I know there's a way to do it, but... Um, it's really hard and I guess it's more than likely you want to do it over wire connection, I guess. So yeah, if you do have a wire connection, this will be really easy for you guys. And um, yeah, all the links I'm going to say, are I'm going to leave them in the description. And if you have any doubts or something, you can just leave a comment. I'm also going to my, leave my Skype on the description of the video so you can add me if you want to really ask me something. I don't know. So um, yeah, just... The first thing you're gonna want to download is the Wi-Fi RAR folder. You have to have WinRAR. I don't know. Uh, you can just Google it. I'm sure you're gonna find it. Just now, um, go to your desktop and create a folder that says this new May Wi-Fi. I guess that's a good way to do it. Not Wi-Fi Seven. I'm dumb. So just gonna delete it. Then um, open the WinRAR file and then you get the Wi-Fi folder. And now you're gonna, um, yeah, just drag the Wi-Fi folder into the Dismumi Wi-Fi folder, if that makes any sense. So, yeah, just now close this, go to Dismumi Wi-Fi. Now you have Wi-Fi folder right here, you can open it and you'll get all of this. So the first thing you're gonna wanna install is WinCap, so you just have to run it and just click next, 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 and I'm sure that you will get it right. And then you'll have two versions of this Miume. And if you have a 64-bit computer, you can just run the one that has x64. If you have a 32-bit computer, just run this one. In my case, I do have the 64-bit, so I'm just going to run this one. And also make sure that you have that you run this Miume as administrator, um, otherwise it will not work, I guess. Well, it does open, but then it does not connect Wi-Fi. Now, the first thing you're gonna want to do is just go to config. You're gonna go to Wi-Fi settings. You're gonna put it on infrastructure mode. In, in your bridge network adapter, you're gonna put your um, yeah network driver, which in my case is Realtek. So just click OK on that. Go back to config. Go to emulation settings, and now you have to check the box. Use external BIOS images. Now it has already BIOS 9.bin. You just browse it. And you go to your desktop or whatever you save that folder. You go to this Miumi Wi-Fi Wi-Fi folder and you select BIOS and DS9. And now you're gonna browse for BIOS 7 and just go um, to Wi-Fi. Go to the BIOS 7 one. Just use external firmware image. Check that box again. Um, now you're gonna search for the firmware thing and just select firmware now and check the box. Boot from firmware like the NDS. Click OK and yeah, there is done. So now you're gonna wanna get your ROM, I guess. Um, in this case, I'm going to use Pokemon White too. So um, yeah, just gonna go here on ROMs. I'm gonna copy my Pokemon White to ROM. Just paste it right here. And also, you, uh, I think, well, in my case, I already have a save file which I can go to um, Wi-Fi, but you don't even need a save file. I'm not even going to do that as a save file. Yeah, so now you get Pokemon White 2.nds. Just go back to this new May run as administrator. Same thing all over again. You can just minimize this, it is not needed. Now you click here to open a ROM. And now as you see, um, yeah, you find a thing that says ROMs. So you now can um, cancel this, you can close it. I rather do it like that. So now you're gonna put your Pokemon Y2 on the S on the ROMs folder. And you go back to this new May Wi-Fi. Same thing all over again. Just minimize this, that it's not needed. And now you're gonna go to ROMs, and there you go, you have Pokemon Y2 that NDS there. You can just open it, and yes, just wait, it, it um, takes a bit to load. There you go, it loaded. So now you got this, you just select Pokemon Y2 version. Yep, there you go. Now you can see that it created more folders, in battery, cheats, firmware, all of that stuff. And now the, um, the game is running, so um, yeah. Just wait for it to get to that port. Yeah, Pokemon Y2 version. There you go. Oh, you can always um, go to control config and put the controls like you please. I'm going to put it like I like. So now, let's just start the game. And yes, I guess. So, um, now you're going to go to Nintendo Wi-Fi settings. Let me just, okay. Um, go here and 
Now go here in the blue thing, connection one, you select it, you search for an access point. It takes a bit to um, search for one, so just wait a bit. And now you see that you find soft hap. You just select soft hap, click OK, and now it's gonna test the connection. You just have, just have to wait for it to, um, yeah, to, to test it, I guess. I should say it like that. It takes a bit time to um, check for the connection, to test the connection, but just be patient for it. And it may give an error at the first time, so you just have to restart it. If it gives an error, just yeah, restart it all over again, and I'm sure that it will um, run perfectly, I guess. So um, yeah, still testing, still testing. Okay, so now you see that you get error code 20104. It's perfectly normal, don't worry in saying that it already does not work. Just click OK there, and now you can just um, close this MIUI Wi-Fi. And then you're gonna have to download the second thing on the description, which is this thing, this little file right here that makes everything work, which is firmware.dfc. You can see that you already have one. You just have to replace this one that you downloaded with the one that is on this folder. So just move it to here and put replace. Um, yeah, so what basically this does is that um, it gives you registration to the Nintendo Wi-Fi. So, no, not that one, sorry. Um, just go here, just run as administrator all over again. Minimize this thing. And you can now, um, yeah, just open Pokemon Y2. Wait for it to load, I guess you can say it. Just select Pokemon Y2 version. If you already have a save file, I guess you can replace it on battery. If you do, I don't know. Um, so, okay. I wait for it to load again, like you did last time. Just click there, so you can get past this start. Um, right. So, um, go again to Nintendo Wi-Fi settings. Go again to the blue box, and um, you can just uh, go here, and you can just test connection to see if it works, if it either works or not. Shall just wait for it to to test, and there you go. Yes, you have connection successful. That's it. Nothing more, I think. So um, yeah, just save settings, I guess. And yep, yeah, you're done. So just click back right now, back. And the good thing of this version of this MUMI is that you do not have to do this all over again once you restart this MUMI. You just have to go to your game like you would do on a normal Nintendo DS. Yes, Nintendo DS, yes, look at my rhyming skills. So, um, yeah, I do not have a save file right now, so I can go, like, to a um, Wi-Fi room or something. And, yeah, I guess you can just close it. Now you see that battery is where your save file is. Now you have Pokemon y 2dsv right here. I guess you can replace it. I'm just going to try to replace it with the one I have, which I obviously, I don't know why, I do not have one, which is kind of odd. But, yeah, I can get, um, I think I have more, wait, 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 um, this new May battery, you can always use this one, just copy it, and, yeah, um, I'm just gonna go into my, um, folder, I guess, let me just close all of these, because now I am confused, and it's better to, yeah, do it all over again and do it wrong. Yeah, here I have this one, and I go to my own, which I use every day. And yeah, I have none there, so I can just put this one right here. It says Pokemon Black 2, but you obviously can use Pokemon White 2 version. Save file on Pokemon Black 2, if that makes any sense, I don't know why. But there you go, you can just now copy it, I guess. Just close this one. Go to here, which is our folder that we created, and you can just replace it. And now let's try to um, go to our Disney May. Um, yeah, so, so we run our game, and it already is right here, so let's just run it, and it should, um, open my last save file, I guess, if I did this right, which I hopefully did, I guess, so, yeah, just continue on there. 
takes a bit because you don't have the fastest computer on the world and now you see that you have your save file right here just click continue you do not have to have C gear enabled and yeah just wait for it to run yeah don't worry about everything that says here it is just lies just don't worry about anything that says here so you can now test on um, to see if it is working let's just for instance go for to the Wi-Fi room and now you have to save your game and such so yeah I'm just I think I'm just going to um, put this thing on a little bit speed up at the end so I think that's basically it you what you have to do to do so yeah I hope you enjoy it um, leave a like if you like my videos and my tutorials and stuff so yep yeah, um, until next time later